Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, this is a Pilgrim and this is another addition to the Quick Builds. It's a small farm with a kind of desert homestead look to it. Uh, you could have this place for somewhere you can start out and cook all your food recipes. You know, for food buffs, medical brew, things like that. Uh, I do think having electricity, uh, an industrial cooker and some fridges would really make the place a lot more productive. But I was going for sort of a rustic look to it, so I stuck to that. Got a main floor there, I built a small bedroom up on this level. And then there's sort of uh, the balconies and the roof level as well. Cooking pots, places to chill out around. I had to go with that little awning idea right on the last build as well. Yeah. We're still building with that sort of RTS idea in mind. So it's just like a specific building with a little sort of gimmick to it. So this is just the farm um, on the left hand side, well, on your right hand side here now, down at the bottom. Um, I just planted the whole farm with long grass, but you can put whatever you want in there. When I came to paint it, I painted the whole place white and left the wooden frame work of the actual adobe walls and the rest of it, the fences and stuff in the natural colour. Sort of a light birch colour, I think. Yeah, it's definitely got like a desert look to it, but I think it'd be okay anywhere, really. There we go, just stuck like a little wall around the side of it. Um, there's a little place there with, to pull your horses up or whatever. I've got the giant kangaroos. I can't remember what they called them things are. Pro Proctor on. Something like that. There we go, little farming homestead. Right, the base of the place is just a 9x9 nine nine square. So get your foundations laid, fill in the gaps. So you just have that to start off with. Then the actual base itself is a 4x4 square. Uh, it's three in from the side, that's where your farm will be. Two in from the other side, and one from the top. So let's count out three from the top right hand corner. And then on the fourth one, pull the uh, adult fence foundation into that next square. So you just press R and it'll sort of flip it until it finds its place. And then just leave some gaps for where you're putting your doors in. Make sure it's all lined up. Now you're going to want to grab some adult pillars. What we're going to do is put them on every corner and every doorway. Then these ones at the back, uh, the first two, they want to be three high. The ones at the front from that doorway want to be two high. They're going to be where the first balcony is. I also stuck another set of pillars in, uh, just there to line up with the other side, so all these front ones are too high. Right, now we can get all the doors and walls in. Uh, make sure they're sort of snapped to that inside square. You can see where the adobe 
foundation is there, the fence foundation, there's like the wood coming out of it. If you press R, um, just get the wall to snap into place, and then press E, and E will flip the wall around so you've got the wooden framework on the outside. Basically just want to do that all the way around. Just build it two walls high all the way around for now and then we're going to put the first floor in, you know, the first lot of ceilings and then build sort of the balcony sections and the small bedroom on top. Right, for this section you just want a, a dull hatch frame like that and a dull ceilings. Put the hatch frame in, um, you can do it wherever you want to be honest. If you want it at the back there to go straight into the next floor or if you want it to come up onto one of the balconies, it's entirely up to you. Get that all filled in, then we'll start the next section. Right, from this pillar here, stick a door frame in and a wall, so that's two and then go three along to the other pillar some more walls windows uh, another door frame and you're going to build that too high so it's two walls high and then put another hatch frame and ceilings on uh, above it Right, and this is what you should have up to now, just a basic shell of the building. Now you just want to place adobe fences around the outside of these balcony sections. You can leave that one because it's just going to cover there and that's where the chimney is going to come out of. Um, and then yeah, another set of fences around the top part. There's that bit done. Then down here, uh, this is where I had the pro proctor on on the right hand side and basically use two wooden catwalks coming out from the wall um, from the first wall up and then place the wooden tables right on the edge and the second wooden table push it as far as it'll go while it's still green see there, snap that in place and then this one can come out as far as it'll go on the um, wooden catwalk yeah, and that's just a simple little awning And here on this balcony, um, that's the bedroom building. Just did exactly the same thing again here that you just did down at the bottom. Right down here we're just going to build the wall that's going to section off the farm and you just need some stone fence foundations, stone fences and stone pillars. Just run the stone fence foundations um, free across and then just against the building. And then the pillars on each corner. And then just put the fences in between. Just do that right the way around. Right, on the front of the building I'm just going to build um, just like a small slope roof so you just need a couple of ceilings, a couple of slope walls and two sloped 
roof sections. And then I put a couple of dull pillars on either corner as well. Just to make it like it had, uh, look like it had some sort of support. Yeah, and then go around the whole building, get all your doors and windows in. The gaps that are left in the farm wall, um, I just used a wooden door frame and a wooden door in it. So you've got access to the farm. Right, and that's the main structure done. All you need to do here is get a load of medium crop plots in a line, uh, run your water pipes over it, get your fertilizer sorted out and get it planted. And there we have it, all painted up with the, just all the decor in place really. And then what I decided to do was just run that wall section right the way around, because it just looks a bit, a bit empty on these foundations. And you can just leave some gaps here and there so you can put some wooden ramps up. And there we go, that's the whole thing finished guys. Just another quick little build. I do like the look of it though, and those awnings that, with the tables on, they just look really good painted up. Just gives a different element to the build. Yeah, I do like the look of this place. It does look like someone's scraping out a living on the edge of a desert somewhere. Maybe I should split these little builds up into biomes. You know, and do certain builds for certain areas like I did with the um, winter cabin. I could definitely go along with this sort of, sort of thing. There we go, one last quick view of it. Right, if you get a chance, check out the rest of my channel. Um, I post quite a lot of updates on the community tab on YouTube. Just what I'm about building next or what I'm working on, any ideas I've got. Um, I'm on Twitter quite a lot and I've got a Discord channel as well if you want to check it out. Right, thanks a lot for watching, catch you later.